All right, so this is a new playlist I'm going to be doing because a lot, a lot of stuff from Common Sense Reflections and bear in mind most of them came from the Tell Me Pastor page, uh, the Jamaica Star. And as I said, like a lot of stories you read are very interesting and frustrating because it's hard to believe that some of the people who you, who are telling, making ratings letters are likable or sympathetic or just looking for attention. Who knows? But this is going to be called some confessions of a gold digger and this and yeah i've done plenty of coins for that common sense reflections playlist on my menu two, two page about females like this but let's go on so all right so she does the usual, usual um, greetings like well here's what kills the top what kills me say i'm a devoted christian i got married in 2004 i didn't know much about marriage i got close to this man because i need help which he provided which basically means that he was basically her, basically her financial backer. All right, if, um, that's the best term I'm, I'm going to use. Uh, sure, after getting married, that was the biggest mistake because, this, but because my sister me, I was willing to try and love him. I do all the work I could do to make the marriage work, but it's one sided. Basically, what she's meaning that I didn't really get into get relationship with this man because I actually liked him. I just needed a sugar daddy. So I'm just basically in order for me to be financially stable, I'll just I'll just basically fake the funk or so to speak. Yeah. Weren't a sale level communication wise, but I wanted to work. And says some how she didn't have any children. We don't have children, they had children for other people, blah blah blah. But this but then this is thing where things take a turn. See, this man um, would just leave the house for months, doesn't answer my calls, doesn't return. But whenever church puts on a crusade, he shows up at church because he wants to come back home. This normally happens when I try to find why he keeps on leaving, he has no explanation. Another explanation is that this guy got got uh, got wise to the game and said, Okay, this girl is just a gold digger. So I'm basically why I'm leaving is that I'm gonna probably go find some other women, another woman. And there's very obvious that there's another woman. That she knows is out there. She does. Be, he's basically saying, oh, "Okay, um, really don't want to leave this marriage yet, but I'm just gonna be going out to uh, trying to trying to find um, find some other females to deal with on the side." That's what basically is happening. He's just said, "Israel, okay, this girl is basically this is not a love a marriage based on love. This is basically marriage based on convenience for my so-called wife. So I'm just basically gonna." Go um go go to the go to the back road and get some action. That's what be, that's what basically happened. So, and she's trying. Cop, please say that. Okay, we're trying. She tried to make the marriage work. The marriage she didn't want to be in. All right, and then she more drama, more drama. But they're trying to get divorced. But the guy's just playing hard to get. Okay, and then here's the thing though. At two thousand sixteen, I met this guy in line while being in this. Well, let's put it this way in this estranged marriage and uh so he's not a friend so i have communication and he basically said that he wants, wants to get into her panties which um which basically um basically she was willing to do because she basically said okay time to end this loveless marriage all right even though the vice um the divorce is not fair and so it just basically just came a love triangle and basically after having sex with this guy yeah she's a christian she's having sex with a guy not married yeah that's a big no-no in christianity bear in mind to all my fellow christians yeah you know that yeah the church frowns on this but this woman went and did what she did and the pastor's basically saying um i can't co-sign this bull this nonsense okay um he is basically saying that you're a messy person so i'm not going to give my blessings to this bull bs so uh, so on. So it just basically goes on to um, goes on to say that she just basically go on to cut, please. All right, she wants to be this new guy. All right, basically, um, basically her new boy toy. While the husband, and this is where I thought the husband, the guy should have just said, you know what? She was just using me. All right, let's just call it a day. Just sign the divorce papers. Cause I think he's just trying to punish her. He's just trying to say, okay, let's drag this out. Just so I can make her suffer while I do my thing on the side. Just get even with her. That's what this her husband's doing. Because he knows that this marriage is done. But he should. But my thing is that after a while he should say, you know what? 
I punished her enough. Let me just go about my business. Leave her to my own device because this is one messy broad. All right. And yeah, in conclusion, the pa pastor du Duma has said what? He, we were basically agreeing this. Even though I don't always agree the advice he gives, we can agree on this. Right? This is a this woman deserves no sympathy. Like she just entered into a loveless marriage because this guy is a sugar daddy, and yeah, the guy is a simp. And this is what I say to guys, all right, especially dealing women nowadays. It's a sad reality, but you're going to have to wear your heart in your sleeve. You're going to have to have your head think with your head, not with your heart. If if it's obvious from the get go that she's with you because she wants a financial come up, um. The best thing to do is just don't enter into a relationship with that person. Just send her on away. Or if you know what the deal is, just treat her or treat her accordingly. Just treat okay, she's willing to um willing to be intimate with me for money. So I was gonna treat her like a prostitute. Just do my thing, then just send her about to business. That's basically what it is, cause but this one's basically is a prostitute. I'm sorry if anyone was offended by what I said. I'm calling it as it is, but this is a woman's a prostitute right here. Like she just went to open her legs just to get money, just to, um, for financial uh, for financial come up. All right, even if she's not working at the strip club or on the or on the tracks, she's basically doing the same thing a prostitute does, just offering intimacy, whether it's through sex or love, whatever, just um just for financial benefits and. Women like this, you don't wife up, right? You can show them love and appreciation, but these are these are women. Um, you can't show love to women like this, right? You just treat them accordingly, go about your business, and that's what this husband should do. Just divorce her. You already punished her enough. Just go find a woman that is not like this, and keep it stepping, man. All right. That's all I have to say. This is going to say to Jamaica Caribbean. Check my YouTube pages. Miles Goose Friend, Miles Jeff Productions. Okay.